Hey everyone, my name is River and today I'm going to be talking about the Revolution X Nightmare Before Christmas palettes um, and a couple other bits from the range as well. I also have the highlighter, one of the highlighters, and one of the lip glosses. So I'll be doing swatches of everything um, that I have, including both of the palettes. There is a lot of colours in each of the palettes, um, but I really want to share them because I am pleasantly surprised. I've used a lot of Revolutions makeup before, it's really fairly priced and the quality is usually pretty decent as well. I have tested out some of the shades already. I'm wearing the lip gloss and I've used a couple of the eyeshadows for my eyebrows and for my eyes. I've also used the highlighter and a little bit of colour on my cheeks and nose and I've also used it to do my contouring. I'll start out with the lip gloss, which I am wearing, but I'll also do a little swatch on my very pale skin as well, just so you can get a good look at it. So everything comes in really cute, um, like, curtains packaging. Mm -hmm. I decided to go with the Oogie Boogie one, which is this one here. It's kind of like a bronzy, shimmery shade. It has a nice smell as well. Just kind of like, not quite ye standard lip gloss, it's like a little bit of sweetness. It has a little bit of tackiness to it, but it's not too sticky. And I'll just do a little swipe here, so you can see the color. It does have lots of shine and shimmer to it. And it's like this bronzy gold. Next up, I'll show you the highlighter that I got. This one is Moonlight Mischief and Madness. Cartons are really nice. All the art and packaging is really cute. So this one opens up on the side. Like magnetic. Pop that open. Here you can see the name and you can see the um, highlight itself. It's a little imprint of Jack in it. I'll just do a little swatch with my finger. Take some of the product. It's a really nice highlighter this one. And put that on. This one is like slightly darker than my skin. I know I'm really pale so it's not hard. Um, but as a highlighter that makes me a little scared that I'll look like I have streaks, um, but it does blend really nice if you have pale skin. It's kind of mm, bronzy, goldy, pinky. <laughs> it's hard to explain. The packaging also feels really safe, like when I shake it, it doesn't fly open or anything. Um, and it's really sturdy, so it's nice. I don't know which palette to show first, they're both really nice. Um, I ended up getting both because I couldn't resist, so it's the Jack and Sally palette. I'll show the Sally one first. So inside, I didn't realize at first that it wasn't just one like side when you opened it, because usually they have like a mirror or it's just like some uh, cardboard and it will say something, but no, you actually get a ton of shadows in these. They're both like that, they're like little books of shadows, um, and some of them also have Jack's face imprinted on them, which is really cute, and they have some really fun names as well. As there are so many shades to show, um, I'll try and go row by row this way, and I'll say each of the names and let you know which one's which. I swatched them all on my arm, and I will tell you what I think of these first ones. Um, so I'll put an image up as well to show you uh, the swatch better. Um, but I found that all the shades so far are quite creamy, they're not powdery, there is a little bit of fallout from some of them, but generally they are quite smooth. Uh, the very first one is Ghost. This one is a very silvery, metallic-y shade. You could use it as a highlighter or maybe even to go over some of the colours to make them really sparkly. And then we've got Jack, which is a black eyeshadow with glitter in it, which I love. Um, it's not like black black, like dark as your soul black, but it is a very dark shade. Uh, you could probably put it over something like an eyeliner or another black eyeshadow if you wanted that black sparkly look. Uh, next is Love Eternal. This one is a really nice shade of pink. It's kind of like a dulled down hot pink and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. When you shine it, there's like a bit of pink speckleness going on. After that, we've got Moonlight, which again would be an amazing highlighter. It is a very pearlescent uh, pink shade. After that one, we've got Trick or Treat, which is sort of like a reddy orange shade. Uh, this one is more on the matte side, 
Um, and this one does have a little tiny bit of fallout, I noticed, but the color is quite nice, so worth it. <laughs> and then last one on this row is Vampire Teddy. This is a very like burnt orange, rusty shade, which I think would be good for blending in any oranges and reds together. On to the next row. So first of all, we have Chills. This one, I feel like on my skin is kind of hard to see unless it's shining in a certain light. So again, a very great highlighter or even like on the very base of your lid to give that like pop of shimmer. And this one is more of like a light lilac-y, purple-y kind of shade. Uh, next one, uh, Spiral Hill. I wasn't expecting the payoff from this one. The color is really good. There's loads of pigment in it. And it's sort of like this camo, dark, mossy green. Um, and the one below it as well, Boogeyman, the color was really pigmented. I was really surprised at that one. I'll definitely be using that one. Um, and it has loads of shine to it. Again, still really creamy. And then we've got Take a Chance. This one is very similar to uh, Boogeyman, was it? Yeah, um, but like a darker sort of version. So again, they would go really nice together. Um, and then we have Jack-o-lantern, which I've used on my lids as well, which is this amazing bright orange color. Um, I feel like with oranges and yellows, it is quite hard to get them like to really pop when it comes to eyeshadow, but this one is quite nice considering. <laughs> And then the very last one on here is Frightful. This one was very pigmented again. It's sort of like this rusty maroon, dark brown shade. Um, again, really nice. I think a lot of the colors on this row would go really nice all together. Now for the third row in this palette. First off, we have Pumpkin Patch, which is a really nice goldy bronzy brown. Um, really good for a natural look. Um, we have Enchanting as well, so this one is sort of like a peachy, orangey, uh, it would go quite well with uh, like jack-o'-lantern and stuff like that. Um, it has like a really nice shimmer to it, and better together. This shade is stunning. <laughs> like I was not expecting this when I swatched it, but it is this gorgeous deep brown with purple specks in it, and it is just absolutely stunning. I want to use it every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's really like, it's got like this goldy magenta-y glitter and this just really deep chocolate brown. It's beautiful. Um, the next one is Roll the Dice. So this is a sort of like deep hot kind of pink shade. Again with a shimmer of this sort of violet pinky speckness to it. Uh, the next one is Romantic. This is a really nice deep red. And it has a bit of shimmer to it as well. Uh, the pigment is really nice. Below that we've got Mad Scientist. This is a really nice natural brown. Again, this one is on the more on the matte side. Um, it has really good pigment. It's really nice dark brown. It would be good for your crease. So now we're moving on to the fourth row. So we're on to the second half. And the very first one in this is a glow. So this shade, if you didn't buy the highlighters or anything and you just got the palette, the Sally palette, a glow is gonna be your new best friend. Like I keep topping up my highlighter with it or on my brow bone. It's just, it's stunning. I love this color. The next shade is Misfit Love. I'm not crazy about it. It's just sort of like a matte, dusty pink. It's quite dark. It's fine. Um, the one after that is Play Dead. Again, not like crazy about it. It is just a matte sort of medium brown shade. But the one after that, Soup, is another one of my favorites I think. So this is a like a darker green with loads of gold light green shimmer through it and it is absolutely stunning. It's got this like sort of like the poisony soup sort of shade. It's beautiful. After that you've got Jewel. Again you could use this as a highlighter or any sort of shimmer on top. It is really pigmented and really like thick and creamy. The one at the very bottom is Darkness. So this is almost like an almost black brown. So this is very, very dark. You've got some shimmer in there as well. It's really pretty. This one I will definitely be using in like my crease and on my under eye. So now we are on to the fourth row and I'm loving a lot of the shades in this row. Um, Scare is kind of everything I wanted darkness to be. So we've got this dark brown with the shine of like this purpley pink magenta glitter in there again, which is absolutely stunning. And then Scream Queen, again, we've got this really deep red shade with that beautiful magenta shimmer sparkle going through it. 
so they look stunning. And then Feelings is this very, not holographic, but very shimmery, highlightery kind of vibe. But it is a almost light pink, but like neon. <laughs> and then we've got Frog's Breath, which again, I love how they've done this sort of like deep shade with a light glitter. Um, so it is this very dark swampy green with a light green shimmer going through it. Scream, it is a gorgeous gold shade. It is a little bit almost greeny. I feel like they tried to make it a little, not gross, but like spooky gold. <laughs> and then on the very last one on this row, we have Deadly Nightshade, which is absolutely stunning. It is this bright purple lilac -y shade, and we've got loads of shimmery goodness going through it. I will just say this as well, some of the colors are a little bit staining, um, so as I wipe them off to put on new swatches, some of them are leaving a little bit of a mark. I find it is more of the really dark shades that are doing it. Now for the last row in the Sally palette, the very first one we have is This Is Halloween. This is a very shimmery bronzy brown, um, it's more on the light side as well, I really like this one. Below it we've got What's that one say? Worm's wart. Mm. <laughs> so this one is an orangey brown with loads of glittery shimmer in it. They would look really nice together, those two. And the next one, Thistle, absolutely stunning. You've got this vibrant purple with these amazing, just like that shimmery magenta again. It is stunning. Um, and like I said earlier, I feel like a lot of the uh, like yellow shades and oranges and stuff they're really hard to get the pigment really bright, so this yellow isn't crazy bright or anything, um, but it's really decent. We've got some shimmer in there. Uh, next one is Scrumptious. So this one is a more light medium brown shade with a little bit of that pinky shimmer in there. And the last one, I'm kind of sad it's not as vibrant as I was hoping. It is a very like green gray, which I really like the color of, but it doesn't really like Boom! I wanted it to be really, <laughs> really pigmented, but again, pretty happy with that. So let's dive into the Jack palette. Again, we have tons and tons of shades. I can't believe how liberal they were with the amount of shades they give you. Um, these palettes are only like 15 pounds, I think, as well, so that's a lot for your bunny. Again, I will do a similar thing of just going row by row by row. Um, and then showing you that. The very first row is full of more sort of neutral shades and they're definitely very good for everyday wear. The very first shade is Ghoulish. Now this one I had a lot of fallout with and I kind of absolutely ruined Jack's little imprint into the shadow just from wiping my finger over it a couple of times. The fallout was crazy. Um, the shade's fine. It's sort of like a maroon brown. Uh, it's a matte but again there's like just a lot of product just sort of sitting there. I've tried to blend it in, but it's just a lot. <laughs> the next one is Eureka, which is a really pretty shade. It's like very sparkly and shimmery. You could use it as a highlighter again. Um, I'll definitely be using it on the very top of my lid. The next one is Bones, which is just honestly a white eyeshadow. It's matte, um, it's not that pigmented. After that, we've got Forever, which I really like. It's sort of like this peachy orange shimmery shade. After that, again, we've got Lock. This is gorgeous. This is a really sort of like warm, deep medium brown. We've got a bit of gold in there, really pretty. And at the very bottom, which I think is my favorite shade from this row, is Moon. So this is a very light green slash white shade. Um, it's super highlightery. Very, very shimmery and absolutely stunning. I'm going to be using it a lot on my cheekbones. The second row. This one starts with Halloween Town. I love the shade. It just makes me think like gator green. It's a very swampy, again, mossy green. Um, gives me like camel vibes, but it has some shimmer to it. I really like that. Below that we have Mare. Um, honestly, I can barely see it on my skin. It's almost the same color as my skin. <laughs> Um, it's very pale. Um, mm. <laughs> After that we have Love. I adore this shade. Very pinky, rusty, um, like burgundy, shimmery. It's gorgeous. 
The one after that is Pumpkin Song. This is a matte, deep orange, um, kind of, again, that rusty theme. A little bit of red in there. Just a generally nice shade. After that is Shock, which is stunning. It is super shimmery, super glittery. Just very pow in your face. The shine is crazy. After that, we have Christmas Town, which is a yellow shade that I really like. So this one is, they've gone for the more highlighter vibe again, um, but the yellow pigment is fairly strong. It's not like neon yellow, but you can actually see it and tell that it is yellow. And the shimmer in it is lovely. Now for the third row. So the very first one on here is Wessis, which is a super shimmery silver shade. This one is, it's not like crazy pigmented, but I think what they're going for is just this very shimmery, glistening snow kind of shade, which I love. Below that again, we've got Toy Duck. This is quite a decent yellow. Um, it kind of reminds me of What's This, with the sort of very shimmery, but still showing you what color it is. After that, we have Sandy Claws adore this shade. Very, very dark red red. I think I'd love to use this with a lip gloss and like pat it on my lips. The next one is Hinterlands. So this is probably the closest they have to like a matte black shade in either of the palettes. It's not quite black black, but it is quite dark. Um, and you've got hints of sort of like a brown coming through. After that, we have Barrel to go with Lock, Shock, and Barrel, which is really cute. They're all in a row. Uh, Barrel is a very pigmented matte brown. Um, after that, we've got Mummy Boy, which is stunning. I love it. So this one is that green gray that I love, but way more pigmented than I think it was Dr. Frankenstein. Um, and it's really pretty. Now we're on to the second half. So this is the fourth row. And this row contains some of the most gorgeous shades, I feel like, out of the whole palette. Um, I've just, after just swapping them, it's just like, whoa, the color is just pops. So they're all very pigmented. So in this row, we start with Madness, which is a more subtle shimmer, but still shining this like violet, neon, purpley shade. Um, and underneath, you've got more of this like subdued purple hue. Um, after that is Everybody Scream, which is stunning. The yellow and the green shine through. They look amazing. Loads of the shimmery glitter. After that, we've got Mischief, which is super pigmented. It is this vibrant blue. It's got loads of shimmer to it. It's absolutely beautiful. The next one is Graveyard, which is a very, very dark gray slash silver um, with loads of shimmer coming through again just some stunning shades. After that we've got Dead of Night. This one is crazy pigmented. It is a matte dark blue and it's just like BAM! <laughs> and the very last one on this row is Love Never Dies. This one is probably one of the more softer tones. It is this sort of like dusty rose pinky shade. Really pretty. I feel like if you just looked at this row, you would not think it was a Nightmare Before Christmas palette. It could honestly be used all year round. This gives me like really summer tropical vibes. Again, a lot of these shades are staining me a little bit. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I kind of think I've got little bruises stripped down my arm. <laughs> okay. So now we are on the second to last row, the fifth row along. The very first shade on this row is Bugs. We have, again, this sort of like deep, camo mossy swampy green with a shimmer of like gold flecks kind of coming through really love this one it is a lot darker than the other shades i know i'm running out of like descriptive words but <laughs> please bear with me <laughs> the next shade is this sort of like electric shimmery green shade it's called oogie's lair i love this it's like very poisonous after that we have Pumpkin King. I did use some of that to blend in on the orange part of my lid. It does have a fair bit of pigment as well, which I really like from an orange. After that is Spooky. So this one, I did have some fallout with this one. Uh, it is a more matte dark purple. It is a very pretty shade. Uh, next is Behemoth, 
this one, I was not expecting the payoff for this blue. I thought it was going to be this very like light, barely there blue, but it's there. <laughs> and it's very pretty. After that is Undersea Gal. Again, this sort of like spooky, gross, gothy green shade. <laughs> now we're doing the very last row in the Jack palette. So the first shade is Master of Fright and Revolution. The pigment of the shade is amazing. This one is definitely gonna stain my skin. <laughs> but wow, it is amazing. It's so like seductive and shimmery and dark. I love it. Next is Sally. This one is a very pale shade. I think it's supposed to be kind of like her skin where it's almost like a minty color. Um, loads of shimmer to that one. After that is Gentleman. I really love this color. It's like a dark purple, but like not quite that saturated, if that makes sense. Um, and we've got loads of shimmer in that as well. Jack's House is the next one. It is a black with some silvery shimmer through it. Really pretty. We'll definitely be using that one like over eyeliner or under my eyes. Uh, Zero, I was kind of surprised at because in the actual palette, it looks like a matte red, but when I swatched it, it was orange. <laughs> so I don't know, be careful when using that one, it's not red, it's orange. And the very last one is Oogie Boogie. This one, I kind of expected it to not be that pigmented. It kind of looks like if my hair faded. <laughs> so it's like, it looks like it started out as a vibrant green and then dulled down. Again, I think it is meant to sort of symbolize his body color. And that is both of the palettes done and swatched. Uh, that was a lot of colors, so if you <laughs> stuck through, um, even if you just wanted to know for yourself what they were, well done, because that took some time. <laughs> Overall, I would say I'm pretty happy with my purchase, considering the prices of everything were... It, it was really fairly priced, um, hence why I was able to get like two palettes and a highlighter and a lip gloss like I would normally be like okay I'll just get that one thing but I was like you know what let's get it all <laughs> most of the shades are pretty well pigmented I love how many like shimmery shades there are with all these like different specks of that magenta and the silver going through really pretty and there's some really pigmented mattes as well that would be really good for blending in all your colors together on the downside I would say some of them do have some crazy fallout and some of them don't quite have the pigment that I personally wanted them to have um, but you know that's fine and obviously some of the shades especially the darker ones uh, were a little bit staining for me that's fine um, but I know some people don't like that but yes thank you so much for watching if you're into makeup and all that kind of stuff let me know um, I would love for Revolution to keep doing some really cool collabs like this because I need more of this kind of stuff in my life <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!